given p1 and p2 are the length of the perpendiculars from the origin upon the straight lines x is secant theta plus y cosecant theta is equal to a and x cos theta minus y sin theta is equal to a cos 2 theta then we need to find the value of 4 times p1 square plus p2 square we know that the perpendicular distance from any point say x1 comma y1 upon the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 so we can write the perpendicular distance pm is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus c mod upon root of a square plus b square so let us use this formula here so perpendicular distance from origin upon the line x is secant theta plus y cosecant theta is equal to a or minus a is equal to 0 so we can say from o to m let us consider o to p o to m let us take o m is 0 into secant theta plus cosecant theta into 0 0 into cosecant theta minus a mod upon root of a square plus b square that is secant square theta plus cosecant square theta so which is given by p1 so p1 we can write it as mod of negative a divided by secant square is 1 by cos square plus cosecant square is 1 upon sin square theta that is p1 is equal to mod of negative a upon under root of sin square plus cos square 1 upon cos square theta into sin square theta so this can be taken as mod of negative a into cos theta into sin theta similarly for the second line distance from origin 0 comma 0 to the upon the line x cos theta minus y sin theta minus a cos 2 theta is equal to 0 so let us consider o n which is given by p2 is equal to perpendicular distance that is x into 0 that is 0 minus y into 0 sin theta into 0 0 minus a cos 2 theta divided by under root of cos square theta plus of minus sin square theta sin theta whole square so we know cos square plus sin square is 1 so we can write p2 is equal to mod of minus a cos 2 theta divided by 1 which is mod of negative a into cos 2 theta and here also we can write p1 is equal to mod of negative a into multiply and divide with 2 2 cos theta sin theta is sin 2 theta so two times are we can write <coughs> four times of p1 square are p1 square is equal to mod of negative a whole square divided by four times of sin square 2 theta so which implies that four times of p1 square is equal to mod of negative a whole square into sin square 2 theta and similarly here p2 square is equal to mod of a whole square into cos square 2 theta adding both you will get 4 times of p1 square plus p2 square is equal to negative a mod whole square into sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1 so since it is a square mod a whole square so we can consider a square so 4 times p1 square plus p2 square is equal to a square which is our option a